Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to just be a quick video on the Houston Astros being playoff bound and how they got there. If you want to find out about the other teams and what my thoughts are and how they got to the road to the playoffs, including the Cardinals, um, of course, and the Yankees who have been eliminated, you can go check them out on the playoff and playoff bound, excuse me, playlist. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the widget up above at the end. Really appreciate your guys' support. So the Houston Astros, again, one of the more impressive teams in the American League, led by the Wizard, one of the best managers in baseball of all time as well. In Dusty Baker. This guy knows what he's doing. He knows the right buttons to push. He also, for obviously, he talks about it too with the age he's at. He knows when to use the numbers and when to obviously trust that gut that's just usually right when it comes to Dusty Baker. Um, when it was pushing the right buttons with the Reds, you're now pushing the right buttons with the Astros. So, um, this is a matchup obviously coming into the series they're playing i did a series preview between the white Sox and astros it's on my channel now if you want to check that out but this is a series of two guys that are hall of fame level managers tony obviously already in the hall of fame and then dusty baker better damn well get in the hall of fame um once he actually officially retires since nobody thought tony was going to come back so they put him in but let's get right into it anyway when it comes to the astros they're, of course, led by McCullers, who now is really their second most veteran in the rotation. I'm sure he didn't think that was going to um, be the case since he's been banged up and having some bugaboos with that the last few years. But then with Verlander being banged up, that's kind of what he became. And then you have the veteran, uh, Zach Greinke, who is not obviously the same Zach Greinke we all remember him to be, but he's still a pretty good pitcher. And as I said about Dallas Keuchel with the Red Sox, or Red Sox, White Sox, in the series preview, he can do exactly that. He's been a solid, not amazing, but a solid postseason pitcher. So if he can pick it up to be a solid pitcher again, pitch, say, three runs and six or something like that, that will be helpful for the Astros because they definitely got a groovy enough offense to be able to perform, to be able to get those runs back. That is for damn sure. Now, this team, of course, when it comes to being led in their offense, they are led by the big kahuna, Jordan Alvarez now, but the actual leader of that team, as we know, definitely seems like it's Carlos Correa. Um, he's very good in his career in the postseason. This year, he still had 26 home runs and 92 RBI, uh, still swinging a very hot bat. Alex Bregman's one of the better infielders in baseball. Wasn't as sharp this year, 270, 12, and 55 ribbies, but... He also didn't have the 500 whatever at bats. He only had in the 300 at bats. So obviously that's going to um, play into his lower numbers. Where Tuve was 31 and 83 RBI to a 278 average. So not the best overall season from average wise, but otherwise still good. So they have a very potent lineup to match the White Sox. Very potent lineup when it comes to that series. But that's also why they got here. They got here because they got a lineup that always has the right thing. They have Altuve that can hit it all around at his best. They got Correa, who at his best also can smack it all around. Bregman at his best is the same way. Then they also have one of the most underrated hitters in all of baseball, which is Yuli Gurriel. Yuli Gurriel never gets mm -hmm. enough attention. Uh, Yuli Gurriel hit 319, 15 homers, 81 RBIs, and 846 OPF. This guy just knows how to hit and pure hit. Lordy's uh, brother, of course, older brother, and uh, he just knows how to get to bat the, the ball, and that's what you need, and the Astros have two players that are consistently like that, another who's good in the postseason and limited appearances and 147 beats is Brantley, who just knows how to get the bat to the ball, that's why this team is so good, they have a good mix of those guys that smack it, like the Jordan Alvarez's of the world, um, like even um, for his size, of course, the Altuve's of the world who had 31 home runs, they smack it around and out of the ballpark. Then they have those guys like Michael Brantley, <clears throat> excuse me, and like Yulis Goriel that just know how to be the pure hitters, just have a great contact rate and be very consistent with getting the bat to the ball. Plus, to add into it, they have one of the better young outfielders in all of baseball too in Kyle Tucker that I honestly forgot to mention in my series prediction video. Apologize to the Astros fans for that. Love this kid. He's still playing well. He was great when he first came up. Hasn't looked back. 30 home runs, 14 stolen bases, 92 RBI. Nothing bad to say about him. Um, he's a fantastic player and playing at a very, very, very high level. So the Astros, when it comes to their team, are in really good shape because they play well on both ends 
as well um, on the home and on the road. So that plays well when it comes into the playoffs compared to their opponent when it comes to the White Sox. You have to check out that series prediction video if you want my prediction on the series. But they definitely sit pretty good. I think it's going to be a really close series for that first series for them. But in terms of getting here and getting to the playoffs, it's because they built the bullpen good enough. They don't have the biggest name brands, people. But you brought in uh, Graveman. You have Yemi Garcia. Ryan Presley's been good for a while now. Um, Frembeer Valdez can do whatever the heck you want him to do, to be honest. He can pitch out of the pen. He can pitch as a starter when it comes into the playoffs and uh, be effective there. And then you, of course, have the Urquidies of the world. The only thing with the Astros when it comes to how deep they go is how do those Urquidies, how do those Valdezes that don't have the biggest, uh, the the um, Javiers of the world throw him in there, the Garcias of the world, how do those inexperienced cats do compared to the Shy Sox cats that I talked about in that uh, series preview that are more experienced? That's the only question for them. But they have guys that performed at a high level. They scout their pitching really well. You see that with the guys that came in and perform this year, whether it's getting guys from overseas or it's getting guys from the draft. The Astros do that really well. They've done it again. They brought in different guys from different organizations like the Maton and Gravemans of the world that have had solid seasons for them as well. So they do it good scouting people from other clubs, scouting people from overseas, and scouting people from the draft. That's a way to build an organization, uh, Philadelphia. But um, that's what the Astros were able to do. And that's why they have always been successful, and they're going to stay successful even if they do lose some people in the free agency because they're always going to find a way to, one, just go out and grab somebody else or just bring in somebody that can fill that role, not to the same degree, but play well enough with the rest of the stuff around them. And that's consistently how the Astros are. That's how they were this year. That's how they got there. I hope you all enjoyed this video for the Astros being playoff bound. Their series, of course, starts right around the corner today for you Astros fans. Congratulations on making the playoffs again. Astros fans led by one of the best managers of all time in Dusty Baker. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or on that great widget up above. Go Astros. I'll say this once for you Astros fans. Peace out, everybody.